All right, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another installment of Corey's Garage, brought to you by Reese Motorsports, your home for the Franken 7 Drift Car Project. Uh, I've been monkeying with this thing off and on all weekend, and um, from just my diagnosis, what I can, what it sounds like, we're turning over, obviously we're getting fuel, um, and we're getting some spark, because it is trying to spit and sputter, but it hasn't actually like fired up and actually ran solid yet, even for a second or two it'll just kind of and then usually a fireball out the tailpipe so sounds like timing is is not exactly right um, I thought with this being an eBay China harness that possibly there's a chance that maybe the banks were reversed for the coil packs so I did go back through last night and flip everything over to the other side it sounds better um, it seems like it's trying a little bit harder to start running but still not quite um, Saturday I was a little curious about um, fuel pressure because I took out one of the spark plugs on cylinder one and the spark plug was coated in raw fuel so that tells me that um, it is getting too much fuel so obviously if your spark plugs are wet they're not going to spark and so you're not going to get it to run so I uh, went to Harbor Freight got a cheap um, like $25 fuel pressure test tool and um, hooked that in and even with it still leaking a little bit because it was very crappy um, I was getting I think over 65 uh, PSI so it's probably when the uh, when it's not leaking it's probably 70 75 pounds of a uh, fuel pressure where it's only supposed to have like 58 I think you can idle with like 45 but 58 is max so um, I do have that Kimso 340 liter per hour fuel pump in the tank and so I read a little bit online Saturday night and some yesterday that basically um, that high flow of a fuel pump um, can overpower the regulating feature of this Corvette oil fil or, uh, fuel filter and basically it's just drowning it in fuel which is kind of what I'm thinking it is so I did order just a uh, just kind of a simple uh, fuel pressure regulator from eBay um, I just wanted to try that first just to see if um, you know maybe that helps the issue and um, I disconnected the uh, Lingen filter conversion module harness and um, it seems like it's still trying to run without that unplugged so or with that unplugged so with no Lingen filter conversion module because um, I did a little further reading I did find a stamp on the block last night that does say L33 so I am convinced that I have a L33 now and from some of the uh, old forms I was looking at LS1 tech and no rotors and stuff like that the L33 is a 24x uh, reluctor wheel, which means it is compatible with this harness. So um, I think I'm okay there. Um, but yeah, basically this thing is still just struggling to run. So I'm just going to do a quick little, uh, just show you kind of what it sounds like, what it's doing as I turn it over uh, without fuel and then with fuel. There's probably still a little bit of fuel left in it, obviously. Uh, in the rails or in the injectors, but I'm just going to do a quick little uh, just example to show you what it's doing. Hopefully, catch a fireball off the tailpipe because that is a fun little side effect. Um, but yeah, I just want to give you an idea of what it's doing. And if anyone's watching or anyone has any input or an idea, something I haven't thought of yet that's not timing or too much fuel or wiring related, maybe something I just haven't thought of yet. Two pairs of eyes are better than one. So, 25 subscribers that's a lot of eyes. Um, 50 eyes in fact so if, uh, if anyone thinks of anything or sees anything or anything just jolt your memory let me know it would be great to uh, get some help on this thing so I'll try to set the camera up hopefully it's not as shaky as it was the other day I'll just set you on my old crank pulley here and just give you a little Starter Rooney, as you can hear the Jeep is still running, charging the battery up. I do, I did get a different battery. So power on, ignition on. This is no fuel added, fuel pump is off.
Fuel pump is on. And then you can hear the difference. <laughs> So I don't know uh, exactly what's going on, but hopefully somebody can see this and kind of listen to it, especially if you know LS swaps pretty well and might have a good idea. But just my mechanic ear is telling me it's too much fuel. Um, I don't know if the injectors are just dumping it in. They're not actually firing. They're just open and dumping it in. And that's where we're getting our kind of rotate, 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 stop rotate rotate like it's like trying to hydro lock but it's pushing a little bit through the tailpipe obviously um, and a little bit is getting ignited for the spark plugs that aren't hundred percent soaked yet but anyways um, just some more bugs to work out hopefully if I can reduce that fuel pressure down um, you know it'll turn over with enough time to build uh, oil pressure and then introduce fuel and maybe it'll be just right I mean it was like a $20 fuel pressure regulator so it's nothing special but it's simple in out it's got a vacuum port for if you need it set to vacuum or you can adjust the top so um, that's what I'm gonna try and I want to relocate the fuel filter because it is uh, right down there right down there there's cylinder 4 and there's the fuel filter and that makes me a little nervous um, I did have that covered up in the uh, the gold heat tape, but then I also had leaks. I had to kind of reroute some of those wire or uh, hoses underneath. So, um, yeah, I'm probably gonna redo that just for safety's sake, because that's gonna produce way too much heat. I mean, I could take the headers off and wrap them, but that's just so much work. I've done it before, and it falls apart after a while. Um, maybe later on down the road, I'll actually have them like cryo treated or whatever you call it, ceramic coated, and. Uh, Hopefully to reduce heat, if I can ever get this dang thing to run. So, anyways, you guys, uh, hopefully you like the video. Like, subscribe if you're new. Um, hopefully we're on the tail stretch, but we're also hitting a bump in the road because it's been like this for about uh, going on probably a month now in this state of turning over and not running yet. So, um, hopefully it's just something simple. Hopefully it's just too much fuel pressure and I can correct that. Um, I was looking at either swapping the pump back down to a 255 and going with a new fuel filter just in case this one's messed up as far as pressure uh, readings go or the uh, regulator was only like twenty dollars so I figured you know it's I basically just cut this hose I, of course I am gonna reroute it but um, I basically just add the regulator into the um, fuel line going to the fuel rail and adjust the pressure and Hopefully it'll work. So we'll see. I think it's in bar, but basically as long as it's on like four bar, that's roughly 58 PSI. So anyways, um, like the video if you like it. Uh, subscribe if you're new. Follow the build along. Hopefully we're almost done with this thing. I'm ready to drive it. We're um, getting into the second week of August now, so there might not be a whole lot of summer left to drive it and enjoy it, but at least I got to build it while the weather was nice. Um, I didn't have to build it over winter because this garage is very thin walls not insulated so I am thankful that I at least got to build it in the warm weather and uh, you know hopefully get it running before winter time hits so anyways um, if you guys have any questions or comments uh, you can write them in the uh, inbox below here or feel free to look me up on Facebook um, I'll post a link to this video I guess on my Facebook page and hopefully get some answers thanks guys